the missing digit. So this is the um, trick that I gave you, wherein a person selects a four digit number, and then what they do is they add those digits in that number together, and they get a sum, and then they choose any digit in the original number to cross out, and that number is then taken out of that four digit number so a three digit number is formed and then this sum from up here is subtracted from the three digit number and a number results at that point um, this number is going to be announced to you and at that point, what you are going to do is mentally, so this is what you do in your head, you're mentally gonna add those digits together and you're going to get 11. And when you get 11, you're going to ask yourself, what number could I add to 11 to get a multiple of nine? And so that number would be seven because seven plus 11 is 18. Or you could subtract um, 11 from 18 and you would get seven. So that's how you can predict what digit was crossed out. So let's look at it mathematically and see why that works. So what we're gonna do first is we're going to um, do this a little differently. I'm not going to use X and Y. I'm going to use a capital N, and that capital N is going to be the four-digit number that the person um, chooses. Chosen by the participant. And what we're going to do is we're going to represent the four-digit number n in expanded notation and we're going to let our four digit number be represented by the letters a b c and d so we're assuming here that they're going to choose four different uh, digits like 4816 where the digits are all different so when I write this in expanded form, I'm going to say that um, this A would be in the thousands place. So I would take 1000 times A to give me that value. And then I would take the next place would be 100. So I would take 100 times B. And then I would take the next place, which would be 10 and I would multiply C times 10, and then the next one is going to be D, and I'm going to multiply one times D, which would just be D. We could write that just as D if we wanted to. The next step asks me to sum um, the digits. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to represent with the letter S, the sum. So this is going to be the sum. So my sum of the digits in N is equal to A plus B plus C plus D. And I'm just using parentheses here to group these together. I'm not uh, representing that saying that you, the order of operations is being implied here at all. I'm just grouping these digits together. Now, I have to take, step three is I'm going to take my number that I had. This is part of the math of why it works so maybe I should erase that. This isn't related to step three on the steps that you say to the person. 
but this is related to the math of why this works. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my four digit uh, representation of my number n and I'm going to take um, this value for s and I'm going to subtract this from this. So I'm going to rewrite and again I'm just going to use parentheses to group things. and I'm going to subtract this from that. So when I do the math, I'm subtracting 1a, 1b, 1c, and 1d. So what I get is 999a plus 99 B plus 9C. So you can see here that if I wanted to factor a number out, I can factor out a 9 from each of these uh, coefficients, and I'm left with 111A plus 11B plus 1c. So when I do this with a four digit number and I subtract out the sum of those digits, I will always get a number that results that is a multiple of nine. Now the next step in the trick was to delete the letter c in n. So remember, this is n right up here. So I'm going to rewrite it down here. That's a 1d. And so it says delete a letter. And so what we're going to do is we're going to pretend that this letter is deleted. So it is gone, and then the next step was to form a three-digit number with what you have left. So that three-digit number is going to be 100A plus 10B plus D. Now, why did this change to 100 instead of 1,000? Well, it's because I'm, I took out C, so D remains the same. It's still in the ones place, but now this number shifts over to the tens place. So my B's become my 10's and my A's become my 100's. The next step is to subtract the sum of the digits. So the sum of the digits was um, way back up here on number two. The sum of the digits was A plus B plus C plus D. So now I'm going to take this three digit number and subtract this from it. So I'm going to have 100A plus 10B plus D minus this sum, A plus B plus C plus D. 